Traveling outside of the U.S. for the first time has been a very thrilling experience. When we first heard about the trip, my mom was really excited and she was nervous for me to go by myself, but she thought it was a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. My experience was actually fear of the TSA, but <laughs> this was my first time flying. I believe I had some maybe subconscious um, ideas of what China was about and what it looked like. My expectations for the trip were I was going to make a lot of friends, have eye-opening cultural experiences, and make great people-to-people -people exchanges. And I think the Confucius Institute uh, Award Honorary Trip has really accomplished all of those. It was a really great experience, from the little three-year-old up to uh, a 40-year-old. It was really, everyone was super great. Like when I came here, um, everyone, like the students, the host family, everyone was just so welcoming. The way I, I see it is that we're more than one and the same. And if the shroud of mystery can be, can be lifted, it, it's, it's easy to understand that we're not that different after all. Even though the language barrier is definitely there, I believe that once I try to speak Chinese just a little bit, I believe that the, the Chinese people have um, welcomed me. Um, that I felt that way. And I definitely think the highlight was the host family experience because it was very personal. If you come to China, for example, and you're a, a foreign student at BLCU or someplace like that, how long would it take for you to be invited to a Chinese home? Eventually, maybe, I don't know. How long would it take for you to visit a senior center? Or how long would it take for you to, to, if you're not an English teacher, how long would it take for you to, to visit a high school or an elementary school? On this program, you're thrown in immediately. So that's very special. If you can't, uh, if, if you're a tourist to China, you don't have that opportunity. So that's what makes, I, I think that's what's so important about this. It's really cool, it has such an amazing view. It was very tiring to get up here, but it was worth it. And like, I'm a little scared of heights, but <laughs> I'm glad I made it up here. I enjoyed it. It was very beautiful. My first time ever being here. That was hot. Very, very first time. I never thought, <laughs> I never thought I would, you know, I knew I would be here. You know, it's, it's a testament that, you know, dreams, can't come true. So hard to learn this language and learning it at an early age is so much easier. Like you just you can pick it up. That's just, you know, how it is. It's so much easier. She doesn't realize it now, but I think in the future she'll thank me. Language can be a barrier, but I but I believe and I, I still feel that if you put a little bit of effort, you know, into knowing more about 
someone else, then the floodgates will open. Because if you don't have strength, yeah, you're, 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 if you don't have, you have less strength, yeah, you're, uh, you're less, you're inferior to other people. Yeah, great. But that was really good, really interesting for me. And one part to go through the development of characters from pictographs and the meaning, the sound, and, and, the, and the visual impact of, of characters. I went to the Chinese class and they showed us a video how the picture of the real thing became the word, the Chinese word. That's what I learned. I liked it. It's one thing learning the language in a classroom in the U.S. and then a whole nother experience actually coming here and seeing the sights for myself and seeing other people actually speak the language. My advice is to do it, to actually go out in the world and learn about different cultures and it would be a really, um, really great if they choose to study Chinese language and culture. Um, I would tell them that although it may seem hard at first, it's definitely worth it and to just continue learning and studying and repetition is key. People tend to think of China as just one country and not as just as the people. The people are make up the country, but if you just don't know who's making up the country, you have no idea what to expect. And so going there and seeing the people was a really great experience. That's the main reason uh, it's taking me so long to get here, just having doubts, having fears, just don't doubt it, just do it.